which are the three types one dimensional motion two dimensional motion three dimensions motion of any body has to be explained with respect to a reference both should explain the consequences related to motion why dynamics deals with motion the two quantities which describes motion of any body if the position of a body continuously changes with time that is what is called motion any interval of time it stays in one corner rigid hello students this is sd sir again taking you all to a wonderful ride on something called as motion a little bit of coat count on your potential rely on your strength you can break any barrier if you call a fish to be meek because it cannot climb a tree it is not its cause its potential is to swim hard and swim hard what is that we are trying to understand in this chapter all the concepts all the topics involved with a very very fundamental term called motion all of you have enjoyed a drive over your bike on a straight road cool breezy day drops of rain but what are the different aspects of motion there i'll break up your fun now all of us may have take a ride in an aeroplane we have enjoyed our jaint wheels a columbus trips meaning to say my dear students the chapter is simply an overview to understand motion typically motion in a straight line i'll explain what is that i am confining myself refraining myself to motion in a straight line here and in today's class we will have an introduction to what actually is motion now the first statement beautifully says motion of a body is relative come on come on who's relative don't know sir but we have told motion of a body is relative it has to be explained with respect to a reference very good motion of any body has to be explained with respect to a reference now what is this i walk 10 kilometers every day to reach my college how much do i travel every day 10 kilometers to reach my college which means my motion is described with reference to my college i jog 15 kilometers every day to reach 
my stadium what distance i cover every day to reach stadium 20 kilometers i travel a 3 hour journey from mysore to bangalore so which is my reference now bangalore so please to understand the word motion very unique is always explained to some reference I require some reference for motion therefore I told motion of a body is relative why did I say motion of a body is relative? Because it is explained with some reference. Now, the two quantities required to understand the nature of motion is position and time very important the two quantities which describes motion of any body the two quantities on which motion is dependent one is position the other one is time how do I understand this better Actually, this concept drives in the definition of motion. Understand. I'll take a practical example to make you all understand how motion depends upon position and time. My first hour of class at 9 o'clock the students are found in room number 86. 9 o'clock, it's physics class, SD search class. We are all present in room number 86. So first hour of class, 9 o'clock, the students are found in room number 86 second hour of class 10 o'clock the same students now move to room number 87 second hour there is a change in time 10 o'clock it's max class we shall all move to room number 87 which means the students have changed their position now very good initially they were in room number 86 with the change in time at 10 o'clock they have moved to room number 87 Third session, 11 o'clock, they move to room number 88. So very clearly, you see students, can I say, the students are continuously moving or they are at a state of rest. Sir, the students are continuously moving. Why? Very clearly, 9 o'clock time interval, they are in room number 86. 10 o'clock time interval, they are in room number 87. 11 o'clock time interval, they are in room number 88. So what? How do you conclude that the students are moving? It is because 
the position of the students is getting changed with respect to time as there is a change in time interval as the time changes the position of the students also change 86 to 87 87 to 88 so with respect to surroundings with respect to time the position of the students change that is what is called as motion therefore students very clearly i told the two quantities required the two parameters required to understand the nature of motion what actually is motion is position and time therefore i say a body is set to move when its position changes continuously with respect to time see all along if the body is in one corner any interval of time it stays in one corner rigid do you call it to move no why its position is not changing then when will it move if its position changes with respect to time therefore students any body is said to move if its position changes continuously with time so the other way as i told a body is said to be at rest if its position does not change with respect to time nine o'clock physics class same room 86 10 o'clock max class the position is in the same room 86 12 o'clock chemistry class position of the students in the same room 86 observe Madi, there is a continuous change in time but no change in position that is what is called rest if the position of the body does not change with time that is what we call as rest if the position of a body continuously changes with time that is what is called motion now the branch of physics which deals with the motion of bodies and related consequence is called dynamics Coily is a very dynamic player why if it is all along in the ground simply standing do you call him dynamic no he is known for his quick running throws instant batting he is dynamic so the branch of physics which explains the motion of bodies maybe topics related to motion speed of a moving body velocity of a moving body acceleration of a moving body momentum of a moving body all these topics are covered under branch called dynamics now there are two subdivision of dynamics one is called kinematics the other one is called kinetics two subdivisions of dynamics kinematics and kinetics both should explain the consequences related to motion why dynamics deals with motion then what is the basic difference between kinematics and kinetics kinematics 
is a subdivision of dynamics where the nature of motion is described without considering the cause. What is kinematics doing? Yes, naturally it will explain the features of a moving body but without considering the cause for motion. And what is the basic cause for motion? Force. Only when an external force is applied, body moves. Andre, in kinematics, I am only considering the aftermaths of motion. Once the body is started moving, what is its speed? What is its velocity? What is its acceleration? How much of momentum it has acquired? But I don't consider the cause for motion, which is force. I don't consider how much force is acting on the body. Whereas kinetics is a subdivision again which explains the dynamics motion of a body with respect to the cause that is force here we understand the cause for motion which is force as well as the consequences of motion so in kinematics we just consider the consequences. I don't want the cause. I don't treat the force which is causing motion. Kinetics. I will consider even the force, the cause which is responsible for motion. Here is a very interesting topic. See, we basically say there are three types of motion. One dimension, two dimension, three dimension. Which are the three types? One dimensional motion, two dimensional motion, three dimensions. This classification is done based on something called frame of reference. Very interesting topic. Curious? Yes. Keep your curiosity to the next session. I've just given you the introduction today. I hope you will just drag through your books. Try to know what is these lines, axis, what is frame of reference until I come back in the next session. So what did we learn today, students? Interesting, sir, motion. What is motion? Continuous change in position of a body with respect to time. What did kinematics describe? Only the consequences of motion. What it did not describe? The cause for motion which is force. What did kinetics do? It described the cause as well as consequences. When do you say a body is at rest? when it is found in the same position for all intervals of time. Three types of motion, one dimensional, two dimensional, three dimensional. Classification based on frame of reference. What is frame of reference? Curiously thought in the next class. Stay curious. Until then, thank you.